forever. <laughs> Dog. Ah, I hate <laughs> no. you. I hate you so. Elena, you're so supposed to so much, listener, and it's sincere. Listen, oh. you little punk. What? I oh. see you with your hat turned backwards, trying to send a message. You. Sorry. I know what you did. I know <laughs> what you did. And listen here, it is going to be a rough time in this investigation room. Oh I am going to go question- Elena, you're supposed to step in. I need you to take a step. Oh. I push Mac. I push Mac against her chest just gently. I back her up. Okay, and now it's fanfic I'm that our <laughs> people have literally written. Now it's fanfic that literally is on the internet and available right now. What was your meaning? Hello, hello. I mean, it's- it's me and my sister. She works for me. So we have a meeting every Monday. Oh, you have a meeting every Monday. We have a meeting every Monday, me and my sister. So I'm like Is it fresh. always that? Is it always? You have a certain glow about you, so I know someone <laughs> really special um, must have recently uh, been in your life. Um, no, the special glow about me is sleep deprivation. Oh, good. No. Yeah. No, wait. We are not going this direction. We're staying Sorry. on your sister. Right. Okay. Sorry. Yes. I'm just oh, now. I sound like I have no empathy. Tell us about your sleep <laughs> deprivation. No, because you know what will help is like laugh, laughing, jokes. Oh, it's easy to laugh when you're sleepy, and That's also true. to cry. Also to cry. That's true. Oh, why Elena, have you ever cried on camera? Yes. Elena, have you ever cried? Yes. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> Um, I cry so easy. That was one of the things that was weird about the first um, meds that I tried. I couldn't cry. Yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, something's wrong because I, I'm a, you I'm cry a less. Most, I'm a most days. You have less crier. access to it. A yeah. most days crier. I yeah, cry I'm a, a. I cry every day. Yeah, I cry like a, a little lot. bit every day. Wow. Yeah, it is just a little bit sometimes. It's but... not like a big cry, although no. lately. <laughs> 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 but uh yeah sometimes it's like a small cry wait you have an 8 a.m appointment with your sister every monday 8 a.m yes ma'am yes, ma so she's an early riser it'll never work she no it's 8 a.m for me 10 a.m for her okay oh okay right. that's Definitely a little better actually riser. you're up at 10 usually it's sometimes. a little better mm. for her i had a pain flare the past two weeks but it's, it's finally uh, subsided yeah. so okay. i might be back up at 10 a.m <laughs> um well, I was what's thinking your... about you guys this morning, and I realized that Elaine is doing a lot better on her meds. It's true. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I yes. just thought well, I was thinking you, about it, and I was like, that? "How did you?" It's just so it? obvious. I think. Like, I think the main thing that I've noticed is that you're less. She's not weeping nervous. on the episodes anymore. We have to keep cutting it every time. <laughs> <laughs> just all the weeping. <laughs> The first, like, six months of this podcast, every episode... Oh, my God. Cut. All of you are like, why are the episodes so short? Oh, Elena's weeping. Elena can't keep her sh fucking shit together. <laughs> <laughs> so Elena's having a panic attack again. Wait, are we doing two, one Patreon? Yes, yes. So two total, one is a Patreon. Yes. Okay, cool. Because I have an update that I want to do on the pod. <gasps> oh, okay. So you want to do it... You mean... Like not Patreon is what you mean. Yeah, because it's uh, it's not like tea or anything. Okay. Actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, for everybody listening, it's we coffee. do bonus episodes. We do bonus episodes uh, over Elena, on our Patreon. Hold on. Actually, what? that was wonderful. Thank Wait, you. I that was hilarious. Oh, no. My fucking bitch wife. My fucking <laughs> whore ex-wife. Stop. She's going to cry. She's going to cry. Ashley, please. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel I it. I made no, an excellent... Can't. I made an excellent pun, and no oh. one fucking appreciated it. I'm sorry, it. I didn't you hear know what? Was it. I'm gonna dad rant. I'm just gonna put this out there. <laughs> there, we go. there I don't we think go. I get full credit there for my jokes because I'm always making incredible jokes. And then you guys, yeah. every now and then, slide in with a zinger, and everyone's <laughs> like, that was incredible. Well, someone's putting it out all the time. Every goddamn day, someone's putting it out. I just spat. <sighs> Danny, zoom in slow motion on my spit. <laughs> Listen, the I shit was me and Elena say when we promo. make jokes is so bad too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it's, it's very like the bottom of the barrel. Mac, like you, no, but Mac, you, you <sighs> have a couple. Uh, you know when you come in, you know why? Because you're a little, um, 
you're a little more introverted, I think, than Elena and I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you think more about your words naturally. And so when you come in, it's usually clean. Yes. Yes. (laughs) It's usually like it comes in, the joke comes in clean, no fat, just like clean. Yeah. So, yeah, it's It's usually very good, Mac. Yes. I mean, Elena, obviously you were very funny as well, but that's a specific, there's a specific type of of thing that Mac does. I know my my strength and my weakness in terms of funny. I'm only funny in collaboration in conjunction with other people's jokes. Like I yeah, am not you're the a person, like like Mac can make her own one liners. I can my no, funny I need other yes, people. Yes, yes, you can. No, 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 because you're saying things that are originally funny that come from your own head. My funny is only I can throw back to other jokes. I can, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think I, that's true. I will say, I, th- yeah, I, no. I think I am, what people don't realize about these pods is someone is the setup machine. Yes. Not always yeah. getting the punchlines. Yes. But. You're feeding And the that bits. is my gift. You feed that, the basically bits. That is Ashley's why the when I, we're ranking. No, no, no. Absolute I'm not saying Audience that. rank us. But like when you talk about joke, constru- <laughs> when you talk about joke construction, yeah. the reason that my crowd work works and some people are like, she's not even saying anything funny is because I'm making the person I'm talking to funny. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like 100%. that is a, yes, that's like a way a that you can, you manipulate the conversation Absolutely. so that you're like. You're a service comedian. T- I am. I'm a giver. <laughs> That's why me and my sister's content is so good together. Well, your sister's just like a whole other. Your we sister's like we a whole have other that set up. We have that set up like nailed down so well because we used to do that before we even made content together. So now it's like we know how to set up each other's reactions, each other's like lines. Yeah. yeah. If I yeah. could just make content with her forever, that would just be the life. It would be so nice. Because a lot easy. of a lot of it is just establishing the rules of the comedy. That's why yeah. when the three of us have sort of our roles on the podcast, that's mm-hmm. why it works so well. Because we kind of like know what each other. Wait, sorry, this is dumb. What was your sister wearing? <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she was wearing. She actually looked really cute. She had like this graphic tee on. She had her hair back in a little bun. Her AirPods oh, in. I she love it when she wears cute. a little bun. Wow. I know, me too. She, she looks so adorable. beautiful with her hair back. She does. She's an angel on this earth. It's true. So after this, everybody, we're recording a Patreon bonus episode, which is an episode that you can only watch, only listen to over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash chosen family podcast. And if you're not over there, you're stealing. You're stealing from us. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Look, okay, there's three of us like here. That. There's an editor. There's a whole other can of, but there's all kinds of stuff hang, ha- happening in the background. Yeah. You steal from gay people. Be gay, do crime. <laughs> you do crime against gay against gay people be and, gay and do you're crime, the problem but not against gay you're the fucking problem oh ashley's so mean she guilt trips <laughs> us into giving us her money yeah bitch i have a job to do i have a fucking job to do and i'm gonna do whatever it takes to make gay content for you and if you're gonna fucking criticize me criticize yourself you cheap piece of shit okay i liked the the gay crime bit no no <laughs> no Wait, I just realized there's three of us, so we can't good cop, bad cop. Yes, you I can. Feel like, I feel like we kind of double up good I'm, cop. I'm the bad cop. We could, we could bad good cop. cop, bad cop, dumb cop. No, I think we good cop. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, I have an idea. Good cop, yeah. bad cop, luscious hair cop, and we just have Ashley take her hat off and like sit Right, but then like who's this. the bad cop then? Oh, there's Luscious I'll Hair just, Cop. I'll be the bad Who's, cop. There's Luscious Hair Cop. Who's gonna pay cop? for my drugstore can, can, shampoo be... and conditioner? Wait, Mac, are you seriously thinking you're gonna be bad cop? I could, if I in the case could, of in the case of a, gay crime, I could be a better bad cop than you, and that's saying something. Elena, if we're you could talking never be about bad gay cop. crime, you think I could Mac be, could, I could, could be more up. bad cop than me? Yes. Okay, let's have a bad cop off. Matthew. Okay, here we go. What's the crime? <laughs> you piece of shit. Ah, I hate <laughs> no, you. Actually, oh, you already win. I hate I you meant... so much. Yo, who's no, good copying and bad copying? No, I meant. I hate you so. Elena, you're so to... so much, listener, and it's sincere. Listen, oh. you little punk. What? I oh. see you with your hat turned backwards, trying to send a message. You, sorry. I know what you did. 
I know <laughs> what you did. And listen here, it is going to be a rough time in this investigation room. Oh I am going to go question. Elena, you're supposed to fucking step in. I'm going to oh, go sorry. question. Oh, I'm supposed after- to be a good cop? When they look scared is when the good cop is like, no, it's okay. Listen. All right. No, no, no. Listen, 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 kid. No, I've side. told you, Elena. You, Mac, Mac, you are too to nice to seat. them. I and they to get away with seat. it. I need you to take a seat. Oh. I push Mac. I push Mac against her chest just gently. I back her up. <laughs> Okay, and now it's fanfic and- that our <laughs> people have literally written. Now it's fanfic that literally is on the internet and available right now. I've read that in a comment thread somewhere. Oh, so Lena would just push Mac in the chest. Oh. It, oh my god. That's how many moans is that for Ashley on record? I don't care. <gasps> Seven. Okay, Mac, that was pretty good, actually. Oh, we're done. That was pretty good. I could do that for 45 minutes. That was yeah, so that fun. Was that fun. Is, I was, that I was, was really getting fun. into it. Clearly, I was getting into it. Listener, <laughs> write in crime scenarios that we can enact <gasps> when we need and to all of them I've done. an episode. And Ashley... Ashley Gavin <laughs> punches a listener in the face. <laughs> Ashley Gavin punches her biggest fan in the face for, for, for laughing too loud. <laughs> for real. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. That was fun. <laughs> I know, I know. I can like, I can see it happening. I it. I it. <laughs> okay, let's talk about. Wish is a chosen family podcast, <laughs> and your dad went to war and came back and has trauma that you'll never understand. That's Ashley Gavin. She's your dad. I'm Elena Joy. I'm your mom. I'm Mac and Jimmy. I'm your hot teenage brother. Mac is baby, but also bad cop. It might be time for you for you guys to look at me again and say, "Is she baby? Your or baby. Is she I'm your baby. Okay, cop. wait. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Baby. Baby. No, I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> Come back in like when my girlfriend brings my coffee. <laughs> okay, Don't call me good. bad cop till I've had my coffee. Come back on the Patreon episode. We'll see if Mac is still baby. <laughs> on the Patreon bonus episode. This episode is brought to you by Wild Grain. Wild Grain is the first ever Bake From Frozen subscription box for sourdough breads, fresh pastas, and artisanal pastries. Every item bakes from frozen in 25 minutes or less, no thawing required. The team at Wild Grain just sent me a new box and there's so much delicious stuff inside. My Wild Grain box came with three different types of bread, two pastas and apple pie bites, which were delicious. I tried the bread first, It was wonderful. My favorite part was the pasta because I was able to make fresh pasta for for a little Italian dinner for Jen. And I'm not capable of doing anything like that on my own. And it was absolutely delicious. The sourdough bread was my absolute favorite and it tasted fresher than any bread I've gotten in a store. And the best part is that it doesn't taste like it was frozen. And now you can fully customize your wild grain box so you can get any combination of breads, pastas, and pastries that you want. If you want a box of all bread, all pasta, or all pastries, you can have it. Plus, for a limited time, you can get $30 off the first box, plus free croissants in every box, when you go to wildgrain.com slash chosen family to start your subscription. You heard her. Free croissant? croissants in every box and $30 off your first box when you go to wildgrain.com slash chosen family. That's wildgrain.com slash chosen family or you can use promo code chosen family at checkout. How are you guys doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I got shoulder checked by a bee on my walk this morning. Okay, that's not... <laughs> Listen. Tell us more, thing. Mac. There's, when you're walking, I was on a sidewalk at the time. So I'm walking on the sidewalk. There's uh-huh. two ways you can go. Mm-hmm. Forward or backwards. Yeah, right. That's it. It's a sidewalk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm walking. I see this bee buzz by. Honeybee. I love honeybees. I was like, oh my gosh, a bee. I, he's like flying in front of me kind of. And I was like, they usually go their own way. Did like, you ask the bee its pronouns? <laughs> I, no, <laughs> did, I didn't. Did you I, talk to the bee at all? Not. No, I didn't. Okay. That sounds well, like you're the problem. Then. You think I was rude? I would shoulder check you too. Yeah. The bee, usually they you're fly off on You're going to walk by me own. on the sidewalk, and you're not going to say hi? Shoulder check. I guess that's fair, Oof. but I still feel like violence is a little is a little aggressive. Maybe we should bring him in to investigate. <laughs> violence <laughs> is the language of, uh, fuck, what's up? Can't, what's Martin Luther King quote? Violence is the language of, fuck. This would have been great if I knew Idiots. the quotes. 
Keep going. I no, no, a, an oppressed people. Is something, was something wrong with the bee? Let me like, finish. Like, why, I feel like, so he okay. was flying? And then a riot just... is the language of the unheard, so it doesn't really apply here. Anyway, continue. <laughs> I love this quote coming out with the bee. <laughs> That's hilarious. He flies, and instead of flying away from me, he flies into my shoulder, and I was kind of yeah. like, oh. And then he just flew away after that. But I was like, See, I my, can go I'm forward like, or backwards. What if something's the wrong bee with that bee? has the X, Y, and Z plane. That's true. It can go anywhere. Can literally fly. The bee is liberated. The bee is queer, actually. The bee knows. <laughs> it, the bee is abundance and 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 knows no gender. The bee was actually an inappropriate fan. Yeah, that's what it felt like. That's a little bit what it felt like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm petting my cat. You don't have to apologize for that. You never have to never. apologize for petting. He's just cat. a sweetie. So what happened with the bee? He just flew away after that. It was just so odd. Okay, well, can I give a can I give a real update? Yes, please. <laughs> you guys didn't like my beef. I story. also have a real update. update. Oh, well, that wasn't even real... my update. No, no, no you go. You go. You were story doing. Was... I can't believe you guys didn't like my bee story. <laughs> I loved the bee wait, story. Wait, bee, we loved you guys you are always like, your bee story, you're always like, like Mac, talk yes, more. Of, yes. Mac, you're yes. so fucking quiet. Yes. Dumbass. Oh, and no, then I was like, honeybees. And you guys were like, yeah, that might have been me. <laughs> remember when we and were, then we're like thanks for the shitty story remember mac when we were like, yeah mac, please prepare for the podcast for once and then mac brings in the just this absolutely horrific bee story just the worst story i've ever heard in my life and we're supposed to oh a bee flew into you okay all right anyway what... she, had, she had jokes written in there she had the xyz plane yeah she, she had did. that she ready did. she came no in with guys the premise. that's not my update my update is about the thing that i sent you guys an audio <laughs> message about last night Okay, oh, and that I we put did... on the Patreon? Ooh. Should we put that on the Patreon? No, we didn't. I just, I'm just, I'm just finding plugs for the Patreon. <laughs> Actually, putting some of our audio notes to each other on the Patreon might be a good idea if it were oh, easy that's to fun. do. That's but really I don't funny. know how we would do that. Screen record. Yeah, yeah. Well, Screen I'll figure out a way. We'll them. figure out a way. Sometimes I'm afraid that we waste our energy being funny in the group chat when, like, honestly, you know, well, that's when, like, when am I trying to I impress went... you guys? Oh, yeah. I thought you meant, like, save it for the podcast. Yeah, we should save it for the podcast. Well, so I went to listen to your to your voice note, and I put it up to my ear because I was in a loud place, and then my cheek tried to FaceTime you guys, and all I, I had all I had heard from the voice note was you saying something about your crush, so then I immediately stopped because I was like, uh, no, oh, yeah. tell us on the podcast. So I didn't actually listen to the rest of it because I wanted yeah, to hear fresh Yeah, I guess I probably right shouldn't now. have sent it, and I should have just... Oh, Ashley, you better be careful. You better be careful. You are gonna, you are gonna turn Elena into a bad cop. <laughs> You're just gonna smack all over that mic, and I'm gonna have to take. What are you eating? Can out. I ask? I'm starving. What is that? Looks like cereal. Yogurt. Yogurt. Oh, it's just the that looks so good. Of foods. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Do you want to give an well, update that we yogurt? actually would care about? No. Tell Tell us about your voice note. Tell us no, about, tell wait, us about the voice, note. We, we I can't the voice note. I can't speak two things in a row. You said something about a crush. Like, we want to hear that. So the yeah, B story was an update, was it was an update, update on my piece ma of shit. No, it wasn't You came the in update. here with two. You guys are like, how Sorry, are so you? you have a B And you I was like, B I'm okay, story? but I got shoulder checked by a B. You have an update. And you have. And I'll probably say goodbye later. I'll probably. I'll probably give a farewell message later too so those are my three talking points for this episode <laughs> farewell about leaving the podcast honestly we need something like that that's really Wait, mac you're leaving the podcast because i i i uh i boxed with a fan in the front row with and i brought i brought titanium gloves to the event and you brought shame sh upon, upon this family yeah i just can't stand for that can you tell us about your voice note? <laughs> Please, can you tell us what you said in the voice yeah, note? Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay, you don't have to beg. To Unless. Please. Please. <laughs> okay, my I okay. I told you guys about my man crush a couple weeks ago, fruit sand guy mm -hmm. with the really pretty eyes, really mm -hmm. nice skin, gorgeous man. I was like, wow. I was Did having you a question, moment. Question I was your like, sexuality. Am I bi? Yeah. 
Elena actually will give a farewell and leave the podcast. I'm afraid. I'm like trying so hard to listen to you, Mac, but I have started sweating. The ceramic is actually <laughs> horrible. Okay, so I'm ha yes. I was chatting with my older sister, and she mm -hmm. found Fruit Stand Boy's Instagram. So we were looking of at his Instagram. Yeah, I know, how? right? I'm like, how did Honestly, you do that? Honestly, incredible. That's the part I want to know. Yeah, the sleuthing was top notch. I don't know how, how it happened, but straight women are really good at sleuthing. Like they Where have, do you I even could start? argue that they're better. Depend on it. Where do you <laughs> even start? Fruit That's so stand, true. Fruit stand, Florida. I'm, man? I'm. I suppose you start with just fruit, and then you <laughs> expand from there. It's incredible. It was incredible. Yeah. So I mean, round of applause for that. But then, so obviously we had to like look at his Instagram. So it was me and my older yeah. sister, and my girlfriend, stalking his Instagram. Yeah. He's pretty. He's he's photogenic, of course. Yeah. Then we click on his story. Uh oh. Uh oh. Man what? was eating raw meat. Yeah. Oh. Publicly, like I ground see. beef I... with a fork and oh, then a jug that... of raw milk. I... Okay. Well. Moment. Raw milk. Okay, that's <laughs> disgusting. I actually think the raw the milk beef is... didn't do it for you. No, because people eat. What? Why can? Why is it that when you go to a restaurant, you can eat beef tartare, but you're gonna shit on this guy? And I'm taking. I'm a vegetarian, so this point of view I has almost no personal attachment. I have never eaten beef I will absolutely shit on this guy. That is I think nasty, beef tartare bro. Tartare is equally as disgusting. So anyway, I click on his story, raw carnivore, and sure enough, we looked in his bio. Man is a proud raw carnivore. Never a good thing, but safe to say that I'm no longer questioning things. I no longer have a crush. As I said in my audio message, nature will correct its nature will correct itself. And this time it did it very swiftly. That will that will end things so fast for me. I just it was the if you guys mm -hmm. could see like the way it looked on the story, because it's not just that it was the way the fork was in it. And it was oh. It was the way so the milk was like a little yellow. Before you no, clicked we on didn't, the story, you didn't notice we the didn't. raw meat carnivore. Was anything else in the meat? Just a oh, fork. Just a fork. I didn't see Just any seasoning. Fork. Not that that would really make it any better, but um, I didn't see any seasoning. I didn't see any pepper. I didn't see no like, napkin. Is this like one of those, like, like a liver king thing? Where like mm -hmm. the guy's thinking this is going to make him I think that swole? that is it. When I don't really know the philosophy the behind it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't found, know if this kid's on like that man. side of it, or if it's just like a fork in the beef. But either way, can it's never just a fork in back. the beef. It's never just. <laughs> either way, I'm stepping back. The oxymoron of the carnivore meat man working at a fruit stand. No. It's a bit odd. No. No. Omnivores need to have fruit too. <laughs> right, but is he an omnivore or is he a carnivore raw meat carnivore man? No, I think the meat that he eats is just raw. I think he probably eats everything raw. Yeah, I'm sure I hope oh. he supplements it with other things. <laughs> Maybe something. some of the fruit from the fruit stand. You hope it's not just raw meat. I hope it's not just raw meat. <laughs> Mm. Well, Mac, that was a really great update, and I can tell that you put thought into it, and that you wrote it down, and you wrote yeah. down B story, raw <laughs> yeah, meat guy story. in your Fork notepad. Yeah, I will erase it after this. I feel, <laughs> I feel that you were prepared. Um, I that give means you a lot. A. You get an A. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I haven't gotten one of those since I dropped out. Since before I dropped out of college. <laughs> That means a were lot. Were you a good student, Mac? I know uh, Elena, you were a Until my good last student. semester, yeah. Well, and then there's also a semester where my grandpa died, and then my grandma died a week later. So I, I, I got some B's and C's <gasps> oh. that semester, but the, and then the semester that I dropped out. The B's go right great. into your shoulder. Elena, were you like a straight A student? <laughs> yeah. 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 Are you gonna? Yeah, yeah. Ashley, you can't say that without exposing your own grade card. Yeah. Oh, I was you? a very good student in college. I graduated magna cum laude from 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 my from my college, but I was a pretty bad student for a while in high school, and, and then I just decided that I would be a good student. But anyway, should we go to questions? Well, wait. You had an update. I had an update. I think it's too late for my update. 
I don't. I'll think save so. it for another. I, I think I'll save it for another. For another. That's what episode. happens when I talk okay. too much. <laughs> no, uh. you didn't talk too much. Um, my update is essentially that I started classes last week, um, and I haven't been sleeping very well. You're like you don't have time to sleep, or you're just yeah. Not like what's keeping you up? Good. No, I have time to sleep. Um, I just can't stay asleep. Like I keep, I'm having nightmares. <laughs> oh. oh God. I'm like, have I ever, <laughs> have I ever told you about my like nighttime hallucination stuff? Have I <laughs> talked about this before? <laughs> no. Okay. Wow, we just a new level of Elena <laughs> unlocked. We <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> That's correct. What is that? I have a problem called hypnagogic, hypnagogic hallucinations. Oh. Where <laughs> you are just where a little onion. You... I... Just layer after layer. <laughs> I hope we're near and the you bottom. And you make me <laughs> cry. I really hope we're near the center of the onion, because if there's more after this, this if there's more after hypnogogic hallucinations, <laughs> it's not good. Where I wake up in the middle of the night, and uh -huh. I, I, I wake up, right? So I'm aware of where I am. I'm aware that I'm in my room. I'm aware it's the middle of the night, but I'm still dreaming. Uh -huh. Like my brain doesn't fully <laughs> wake up. Yeah. So what that means is that I kind of feels like the moment that we all sort of have sometimes in the middle of the night or the morning where you're like for literally for seconds, you're mm -hmm. like in between the two states. Yes. So that but you stay there, but I stay there because you're doing really well. <laughs> Overachiever. So I what that happened, what that means is or what that looks like is I'm hallucinating, um, which is very confusing and can be very scary. Um, and it, this it started happening when I was back in junior high. It happened throughout high school. Um, I think while I was, oh yeah, it happened throughout my undergrad degree. It happened for years and years and years. Then it kind of stopped for a while because I think that it's stress related at this point. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it hadn't happened for a while, um, you know, here and there, but the past, week or two it's back uh -oh. mm. so i'm yeah i'm not sleeping great maybe so up what the do you dosage, do, do you just sit <laughs> no it's so it started as i would this sounds so creepy but it wasn't always creepy i promise i it started as i would call it people in my room because i would <laughs> okay call it something else <laughs> what the fuck because I this would sounds wake up creepy. <laughs> How old are you? That is very creepy. young. You were I very was, young. No, no, no. I, junior high, so I would have been like maybe 13, 13, okay. 14. Um, and I would wake up, but it would always be people I knew. Like it was my friends, so I wasn't scared. <laughs> well, when it started, it was scary because sometimes it's not my friends, and then it's scary. But most of the time, it was my friends, and so it was more like confusing. Like I was always just very confused, and I'm telling them like, "Why are you here?" You can't be in my room. It's the middle of the night. Like, you have to leave. And also, I, if I would sleep, like, without being fully clothed, oh, I, it wow. would be, like, a panic yeah. of, like, you can't yeah. be in here. I would wake up, and like, in the morning, and I would be, like, <clears throat> and I would be dressed because at night I would be, like, sneaking around to, like, get my clothes on because my friends were in my room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It's so just, sad. I know. Um a lot of the time they were like playing sports and they like were telling me I was like asleep in their court and I was like in the way and I'd have to like try, I don't know, whatever. It was a whole thing. Um, yeah. Uh, so now it is back and it's Elena, scary. Um, if I end up in your room, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so it hasn't, that's the thing is as I've gotten older, it stopped being like friends and stuff that stopped. Now it's like, it's like a lot of spiders. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, good update. <laughs> Big spiders or like little spiders? Massive spiders. Well, so th this last one, it's like I woke up, and this is recurring, 
and I see this like spider web from my wall to my bed. And it's like the spider web is like, you know, those kind of, they start small and it almost like expands out, like yeah. a, almost like a blanket. It's like that attached to the blanket oh, that's on top of me. And there's a big spider in it. And so I'm laying there, right? And I wake up and I see this. And at first I'm afraid. Well, I just remain afraid. But the first is like, oh my God, it's a spider. And then I'm like, Elena, you're sleeping. You're this having is, a hypnagogic you're, yes, spider. Yes, you're having a hallucination. Because I know it's not real. Like, at this point, I know it's not real, but I can still see it. So it's like, I'm trying to be like, okay, just close your eyes. Just go back to sleep. It's not real. It's not real. But the, like, fear of moving, I can't shake it because the I, the web is there. And also, you probably can't me. move, right? Like, no, that's no, part I, of the... Oh, no, you can. I can. Yeah, that's... um. Uh, sleep paralysis. What do they call that? Sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. I've I, had that before, but it's not like that usually. Obviously, I'm not an expert, but um, I did have this happen to me one time during okay. a very stressful period of my life. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're related. <laughs> <laughs> I never had it happen again. I, I think I only had it happen the one time, and I okay. was extremely sleepy. Yeah. And... Um, I was sick or something and I got out of bed and I had had, I got without getting into the, why this is traumatic because I know it's not going to sound traumatic from just what I say now. And I am not getting into the full story. You just kind of have to trust that this was a horrible experience, Okay. but I had lice twice from when I was a camp counselor at my camp mm -hmm. and I got it really bad. And okay. oh, there was awful. There is some fallout that I'm not going to talk about. Do you know that lice. lice loves clean hair? Just saying. Flex. There you exactly. go, Ashley. Just saying. Just saying. No, but I, um, yeah, I, I, and in one of the, in what you're describing, I like went into my bathroom and I looked in my like bathtub and I saw like, a. I did not have lice at the time. Yeah. But I saw like a louse jump out of my hair into the bathtub and I was like chasing it around yep. and like yep. I grabbed a tissue and I threw it away and then I went back to bed and I woke up and I was like, did that happen? And then I went into the bathroom and I saw the tissue mm -hmm. in the wastebasket and I remember crushing the louse to mm -hmm. be sure that it was dead so that and I like looked in the napkin and it was in there and then I looked in the napkin and obviously there was no louse in the napkin when I woke up so I I do yeah. think this can be like uh, like for if it's this anything like what you're describing it's horrible and yeah. definitely from stress I have never heard yeah. of this before this is bizarre the yeah, idea I of you never... guys like in your room like actually like running around a bathroom with a tissue yeah. to like get a louse that's mm -hmm. not there like, like fully asleep the too. way like, that the brain <laughs> that is insane yeah wow. yeah okay and so that's, elena's yeah. getting that every night <laughs> no no it's yeah. not every night it just says like it's been not, i've been waking up and not being able to go back to sleep every night but like some of those nights i'm also like hallucinating spiders and i'm just like very afraid well, I'm glad things are good. Um, <laughs> should we do a question? Because we're, yes. we're nearing the end of time here. Yes. Do a well, question. yeah. But you should really either I, up your dosage or, like, take some time for yourself, Elena. No, like, I know. That's I need really to, bad. I know. It's just because school. Like, last week was the first week, and it's just, like, the intensity of it. Like, of course, ugh, this sounds so... Everyone is going to be shouting at their screens, like, yes, we all knew this was coming. But it's, like... Obviously, I well, knew that's not helpful. what I was getting myself into, but, like, it's grad school. Like, this is a different... Like, people are doing this full time, you yeah. know? Like, ay yeah, yeah. So it's just a lot. But things will calm down um, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> when you apply to do the PhD program. Aren't you so glad <laughs> that you took that social media job? No. Um, you didn't take that, right? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, Elena. no, no, listen. No, no, listen. I, I got it for somebody else. So it's okay. not me. I'm just like, I'm going to be a bit of a liaison for a little no, bit. But you it's are nothing not. like, no, you nothing, are not. It's all good. Elena, come on. Come no, on. I know. It's good. There's spiders in your brain. <laughs> I know. When spiders start showing up in your brain, you, you, you no, got to calm down. But are I you know. doing the things to relieve stress in your life? Are you climbing? Are you. Yeah, so climbing. 
it, it, not as much as I'd like, but then like, I'm still going, I'm going to spin class on the weekend. Yesterday I played pickleball with some friends. Like I'm still, do, it's, I, it's nothing to be worried about me about. I'm just the, you know, the first week of classes, it's nerve wracking. You don't know what you're getting into. You're getting all this, the, your syllabus for everything and like the readings. So I think it's just been a bit overwhelming to be handed all of that. But now that I'll, I'll get into the swing of it and it'll be okay. <laughs> Proud of you, mom. Thank you. I'm Thank you. Okay. Searching for yeah, let's question. take a question. I think you're doomed and you got to you got to <laughs> figure something else out. Yeah, I also feel that way a little bit, but I Thank I'm you. working on it. Okay, question for the pod. What do we think about the born this way hypothesis? Recently, Radio Lab did an episode about the history of born this way as a gender non-conforming bisexual baby. I didn't I don't think that that I was necessarily born queer, but that both my experiences/social slash social environment and maybe some of my genetic predisposition have led me to accepting and becoming the queer person that I am. This is a complicated question with so much more nuance than I can explain and just one comment, but just wondering how you all feel about it. Do you feel comforted by feeling like you were born queer or do you feel alienated by the phrasing? Hmm. I have never heard a queer person be like, I don't think I was born. That is, to me, that is the first time I have ever oh. heard a queer person say that yeah, i don't think i, have I actually either. i hmm. actually had a discussion with someone suggested to me that maybe it is nurture and i was like excuse me <gasps> and their argument was that it shouldn't matter but i actually do think philosophically and on a practical level it yes. actually makes a huge difference whether or yes. not we were born this way mm -hmm. and there is so much evidence to support that it is either genetic or biological or some mm -hmm. kind of combination mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the studies they've done around identical and fraternal twins. Mm -hmm. But like, and honestly, I think that will only become stronger as more people come out of the closet because they feel mm -hmm. comfortable to. Mm -hmm. But the idea that it could be nurture is so incredibly disturbing to me. It, it's disturbing to me. I think I, I'm, I think I'm, I get the nurture side of it. If, Cause it but, shouldn't but matter. It also, shouldn't matter. Of course. But there also would need to be some sort of genetic predisposition because what I don't think that you can say, if, if you're arguing that it's purely nurture, mm -hmm. then you're, ar then you're arguing that, anybody theoretically could go from one to the other yeah which that's is what just i was thinking not too. true i yeah. think for the majority of people this is nature with yeah. obviously the the um not input but the sure i'll say input um this is it's nature with the influence of nurture depend like on how open you can be how comfortable with you yeah. with yourself you are um but i don't think that changes anything about the nature but i guess for some people sure there could be more of a nurture component but that like predisposition would still be there are you referring opinion. to like nurture as like environment your environment your environment well like i was wondering is like, like the way you're talking about it it sounds like you're not saying that your nurture doesn't necessarily like predetermine your sexuality, but it can influence like aspects of things related yeah. to your sexuality. Yes. Like if I had very open and accepting parents, then I would be comfortable expressing my gender identity sooner. Yes. But like no relation to my sexuality. Is that like kind of the point you're making or it's like... You might come like out you're... earlier. You might be. Yeah, you might, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's maybe, what I'm trying to say. Maybe you won't. Maybe because of your upbringing, you never would have come out at mm -hmm. all. But yeah. like, that's different. I think the key here is that with nurture, it implies that everyone's born straight. Mm -hmm. That's the implication that's so, I think, so disturbing about nurture is that there is mm -hmm. one way that we came out and you've been. Yeah. Well, and and the other side of it is I think if you try to make a purely nurture argument, 
you are you are inadvertently arguing in favor of conversion therapy like you're saying that conversion therapy could work because if mm -hmm. it's just nurture that somebody's yeah. gay you could also be nurtured out of being gay I think which is like I think they're trying to bring in new, I don't agree with them but I do think they're trying to bring in more nuanced look to this that like sure. maybe maybe early very early in life there are certain nurture things that happen that solidify somehow a sexuality that can't necessarily be changed except maybe at some early foundational point in your life sort of like learning language for example like there's mm -hmm. a period of time during your life where you can learn a language and then really after that it's very difficult for people to learn language without babble mm -hmm. uh babble.com <laughs> slash chosen uh but like do you see what I'm saying? I th Absolutely. I, so but, I think they're yeah. making a nuanced look, but I still think even that nuanced thing. And also, agree. like, yeah. beyond, like, the fraternal and identical twins, like, the reality is, like, across societies and across cultures and across nations, the distribution of queer people is pretty even. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so it's, like, one of those things where how is that happening if this isn't some sort of... I personally think that they, if they found the gay gene, they would never tell us because that's like the fucking nuclear codes. You can't find the gay. I think ethically you cannot admit if you're a scientist, I don't think you would ever tell the world that you had the gays. I think it's huh. like, like the atomic bomb. Like I think right. they found out and they're like, I'm not for the good of humanity. I'm hiding the gay gene from everybody. Interesting. No, truly. I, I, yeah. I it's so, such a dangerous thing to be like, I found the gay gene. Well, and I do think there are, certain aspects that have been looked at that are like they're not the gay gene but like they're close to that in terms of hormones that we're exposed to in utero based on um birth order and everything yeah. that they're finding related to homosexuality so like i guess what i think if you're looking to make to if you're looking to make a more nuanced argument i feel like the way that i would go about it would be to say that sexuality gender exists on a spectrum right we all kind of agree on this we all kind of know this and the people who would say i think that my sexuality was very influenced by my environment they would have fallen not on either extreme of the spectrum anyway mm -hmm. right so these are like i <laughs> if sexuality was nurture <laughs> like yeah How, where, where did i come from like that doesn't make yeah. any sense yeah. yeah 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 you know like i didn't even know women could be gay like i mm -hmm. didn't even know that so how where did that come from yeah in it's like what Ashley was saying with all the different countries and like cultures and stuff it would make no sense that the numbers would be like averaged like all of these would be similar right in places where culturally like raising on, children yeah, is exactly. so different and like yeah. yeah no what the fuck no that's that's why i do think it would be more nuanced and complex than that but like you know let me look at i just want to see look at this question one more time just to do you feel it was comforted? really long okay but so the, the main question is do you feel comforted by feeling like you were born queer or Absolutely. do you feel alienated by the phrasing i don't just feel comforted i feel like that is the only thing that describes my experience yeah mm -hmm. yeah i feel the same there's just no amount of anything that I could have done to be different. I also mm -hmm. think there's a new thing happening, and, and maybe I'm going to get pushed back on this, but I do think that there's a new thing happening with gender queerness that there are people who maybe don't have any body dysphoria who don't necessarily even feel that being called a woman or a man or whatever would give them any kind of dysphoria, but mm -hmm. they still, quote-unquote, choose to use they, them pronouns as an expression that they feel aligns more with their philosophical mm -hmm. view mm -hmm. of gender. And that's mm -hmm. a totally okay thing to do. Mm -hmm. And like those people are rad for like being a part of like the, you know, the fight against heteronormativity yeah. and gender normativity or whatever you, you saw the gender there was binary a similar movement i don't know what what decade exactly i want to say it was in the 70s 80s that kind of time there was a similar movement among women in like the kind of more radical feminist movement where they would choose actively choose lesbianism as like a political um, that's tough dude that's different than that's different than dyeing your hair purple 
Right, but it's like a similar. <laughs> that's where it's like for some. That's where I think that the, those people would still sit somewhere on the spectrum of queer. Yeah. yeah, I guess you're right. You know what yeah. I mean? I guess like, that's almost like were those women just bisexual? Right, maybe, yeah. right? <laughs> and I don't know. It's, it's, I don't, obviously we can't define somebody else's experience at all. But for me personally, it's actually so funny to be so <laughs> self-loathing homophobic that you're like, no, I'm choosing to be a lesbian. That's how much I hate that men so rather than just being like, I am bisexual. That's yeah. so right. crazy. That is so crazy <laughs> to be like, no, like no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm not bisexual. I would never be gay. I just hate men. Like yes. that's so funny. This is about politics, not because my sister fucking Insert hates men, dude. No word. one hates men more than my straight sister. And my <laughs> straight sister is, like, kind of gay, but right. not in her sexuality. Right. Like, at all. It's so f hard, honestly. I wish my sister were gay. She'd be getting yeah. so much ass. But, like, I... <laughs> Yeah, that's I'm glad really that mine's funny. not, just for the sake of this podcast. <laughs> oh, I don't think that that's necessarily true about your sister. What do we have for Maybe dinner? <laughs> both of your sisters just need to make a different choice. We had raw yes, We meat. all made it. We had raw, raw beef meat. Beef tartare. We had, we had Elena's sister's beef tartare, oh. and we, sorry, had to be done. <laughs> that was the only thing that could be done. I would never and use a fork on your sister. You I would go us. in just. Stop, Ashley. That's <laughs> finger food, Ashley? for lack of a, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Thank I don't you apologize. Guys. Thanks Thank so you much guys for, listening. for listening. We love you. Patreon.com slash Chosen Family Podcast. We're going over there to film a bonus episode right now. Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production, hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac Injimi. Edited by Danny Jewell, executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever! Yeah.